double tenement, and so we entered from the basement, and the audience could see us coming up the stairs, and then we disappeared from view, and then we were at the front door. Now you mentioned in 107 um, that the wall could be taken out. Yes. So when the wall was taken out, that space where the wall was removed would become the stage area then? Well, <laughs> outside of the room, you, you know there's a stairway going up to the next level, and of course 105 classroom, which doesn't exist as a classroom now, would have been the stage. Mm. And where the wall, that would be the portal. Gotcha. And you'd have a proscenium stage, small gotcha. proscenium stage. No wow. Uh, and that was, you know, some plans for the future. Now, as I said, I did one in the round on the main stage. Uh, and, of course, I'm sure student productions there, I'm sure there have been some on the quirk stage, but there, you now you have an additional theater, mm -hmm. and they could be done there. So you have more capability with that other theater than we would have had by taking out that wall. Right. But it, it was designed, that wall is not a permanent wall. I don't know exactly what it consists of. But okay. When they first opened the building, did they have classes in here or was it specifically just like the, the course? No, when, when the second semester that began in February at that time, uh, classes were held in this building. Yeah, we no, held them all kinds of places prior to that. No classes in the fall of 58 were in this building. Pardon? There were no classes in the fall of 58 in this no, building? No, the building wasn't done yet. Gotcha. Okay. No. The building got done... The building got done... Uh, well, it was getting... You know, George Bird was in a daily looking at something because he said you'd have to keep an eye on what the people are doing because they might do something they shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, of course. He told some horror stories in where some stage had a pillar in the middle of it and he asked the architect, well, what's that there? He said, well, it's holding up the roof. <laughs> oh, well, yes, <laughs> but. <laughs> so you, you need to check every day. I worked at a high school and they had a classroom that they could use, could have used as a radio studio. And so at the back of it were panes of glass with an entrance so you could go in. 